let's get our shit together. Hello my beautiful YouTube friends, I'm Katie and I've been feeling pretty behind and unmotivated in work, school, art, and YouTube. So, two weeks ago, I'm talking to you in the future. I decided to try to implement a couple lifestyle changes into my life for a week to see if I could do it. And I brought you guys along to keep me accountable. So thank you guys for that. Two weeks ago, I wrote down five goals in my notebook titled hashtag girl boss habits and these are the five things i tried to do every day for a week the first thing on my list is to wake up early and go to bed early the second thing is to be active so there are two parts to this one the first one is getting away from my desk and trying to go on a walk and get 10,000 steps a day and the second part of this is to keep up with this workout program I've been following Heather Robertson's 12 week program. It's a free program here on YouTube and it has been amazing. It's so good. I like, highly recommend it. The third thing on this list is to stay on top of due dates and not procrastinate. This might be the hardest one out of all of them. The fourth thing I have on this list is a daily drawing practice, whether that's drawing from class or drawing in my sketchbook, etc. And then the last and final thing is to read or learn something new. This could either be from reading a book, listening to a podcast, or I'll talk about this a little bit later, but um, watching a class on Skillshare. Shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, which I'll talk about later. At the end of this video, you'll be seeing future me again, and I'll let you know if I was able to sustain these changes in my lifestyle. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment on a habit you wanna start this spring, and let's flash back to Monday. So today is Monday, it's 12.30 right now. Like I woke up at like 8.30, had a couple meetings, made lunch, and it is my lunch break right now since today is a work day. So I think I'm gonna do the day five of Heather Robertson's workout today in the park and I'm going to take a little walk there. I'll see you guys at the park. It is 7.15 right now and after my workout in the park, I just went home and finished up work for the day at 5 and then just kind of chilled downstairs with my roommates. Forgot to go grocery shopping though and now that it's getting dark, I kind of am lazy to go. So I just heated up some leftover wonton soup. So I'm going to go grocery shopping tomorrow probably. The rest of the day is kind of going to be chill. I'm going to try to read a little bit and then paint later. And then, oh no, you know what I have to do? I have to clean my room. I don't know what I did today, but it literally is a mess. I need to get my laundry put away. So I'm gonna do that. And that was pretty much my day. not doing well on the going to bed early part so far because I just got caught up hanging out with my roommates downstairs. I finished this drawing that I'm gonna post tomorrow. It's like this really pretty mountain and these two people are just like walking and I tried like a different color palette and a couple new brushes. So I'm really excited about it. I think it looks really great and I like, I think I'm gonna continue using this technique. But I'm gonna go to bed now, maybe try to read braiding sweet grass instead of going on my phone before bed and watching YouTube for like three hours until 2 a.m. But this is what I'm gonna do. So Monday completed. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. Just woke up. It's 8.15. Did better than yesterday, but I could not wake up at 7.30. My alarm went off and I was like so tired. I'm gonna try to work out now. guys i just showered and did my skincare routine and logged on to work 
and I changed into actual jeans so I feel like way more productive about my day. Tuesdays for me are usually pretty boring. I'm just working until 4.30 and then after that I have a class from 4.30 to 7.30 which I totally forgot I had today so I'm definitely not going to be able to go grocery shopping which is fine. I'll just go tomorrow but yeah Tuesdays are pretty boring I don't really want to be cooped up in my room all day so I might go on the porch to work a little bit and then we'll see how I feel after 7 30 because it's a pretty draining day like being on the computer all day so I may start editing this vlog early or draw or something but I'll be drawing during class so I don't know um, but yeah I'll check in with you guys a little bit later exhausted that was such a long day i just finished figure drawing it was kind of a struggle to draw for that long but i also just finished my homework and this is huge for me guys because i usually leave it until an hour before class but i did it early we were supposed to make um three different versions of an icon they're very basic but this is a homework assignment so it wasn't too like crazy my category of icons is furniture so i made a desk a little plant and a dresser i think i might lay in bed for a little bit <laughs> guys i'm gonna be honest i spent the last two hours in bed doing nothing <laughs> i was just like so tired and i think i'm gonna skip the reading for tonight because i don't think my brain could process that right now i'm going to draw until i get really sleepy and also i'm fine with skipping the reading today because i did my homework early so i'm counting that as a win for today um but yeah i I think that's going to be it for Tuesday. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. I woke up today at 9.30. Um, definitely the most challenging part of this week has been the sleep portion because I am definitely a night owl and I don't like to wake up early in the morning. It's so interesting though because I used to be a barista so I would have to get to work at 5 45 a.m and I like don't know how I did that. Like no idea now how I did that. Anyways I'm not too upset about waking up late today because Wednesdays it's a class day. My first class starts at 9 50 and it's just a lecture. It looks like it's going to rain today. You guys can see it's very sad and gloomy outside so i think i'm gonna try to make breakfast i'm gonna pack breakfast and i'm going to take my lecture along with me and go on a walk in the park i think that's what i want to do and then maybe we'll grab coffee It's four o'clock and I'm still in my design class. My professor gave us like two hours to do our exercise and I already did them. Like I already finished my icons. They're over here, right there. Um, but yeah, I feel like I have so much time on my hands right now. So I figured I would update you guys on how my week is going. I feel so, so productive and I feel like I'm making such good use of my time and I'm not like, anxious about stuff that's due because I've given myself so much time to complete them and starting them early instead of the day before. So I feel really, really good about that. So I, I'm so glad I started to do this right away and I didn't make an excuse for myself this time because after just doing it, I feel like it's so much easier to integrate this into my lifestyle and like I can do it. I didn't, I don't know why I thought I couldn't do it. Yep, not, nothing else to update you guys on right now, so. Let's get to it.
All right, while we watch this time lapse, I thought it would be a great time to mention the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. If you guys didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people where you could learn new skills about anything from illustration to design to productivity. So while we're on the topic of this video about being productive and making lifestyle changes, I found a couple classes from this guy Thomas Frank and he has a really really great series about productivity. I'll link them below in the description. My boyfriend heard me doing this voiceover and he said Thomas Frank is one of his favorite YouTubers so definitely check his Skillshare classes out. And the great thing about Skillshare is that it's curated specifically for learning so there's no ads and you could go at your own pace since all the classes are broken down into bite-sized pieces and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And as always, in my description is a link to a free premium membership trial of Skillshare. So definitely take advantage of that and let's finish this self-portrait. drawing and I actually couldn't stop and does this look like me? <laughs> I'm actually glad that I finished most of it because I'm gonna go back like tomorrow or before class so I can re-examine it to see if I like it and fix it up so we are doing so much stuff Thursday guys, this week is literally flying by. Thursday is a work day, so I took a walk with my roommates this morning and then logged on to work. I've been working since then, I think it's around 11.30 right now. So I think I'm going to take a lunch break and work out. So already at the beginning of the day, I'm getting my steps in, getting my active part in. Yesterday I didn't read. So that's okay. And I also went to bed at like 2 a.m. But that's fine. I finished work and I also finished this cover art for my brother um, I sent it to him and he liked it except he wanted to change the girl to a guy clients you know what can you do but I just finished getting ready because I'm pretty much done with all the stuff that I have to do this week which is literally awesome literally on Thursday I'm always like scrambling to finish stuff up by Friday yeah so I got ready because me and my roommates are just gonna go out to eat that's pretty much going to be my Thursday I don't think I'm gonna do anything else today yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow
big question is, was I able to implement all these changes into my daily lifestyle? And the answer is yes and no at the same time. From the beginning, I didn't expect myself to do all these things daily, like after this one week of experimenting. So here's what I've been able to keep up with. I mentioned this in the vlog, but I am definitely a night person, but I have been able to wake up around 8.15, 8.30, make myself a coffee, get ready, and then log on to work or class. So that has been going well. And then for being active, that was definitely one of the most important things to me. So I have been consistent with it. I'm on week four of Heather Robertson's workout program. I'll definitely link that program below because it's awesome. She's so amazing for making it free and I have been feeling very strong. So staying on top of due dates and procrastinating. This, I said before, was definitely the hardest one for me. I always leave things to the last minute and I have noticed that I'm doing that less and I'm starting to plan stuff out more. That is something that I'm definitely going to continue to work on and get better with because sometimes it is difficult. <laughs> Now for the last two, which was daily drawing, reading, or learning something new. These three things are definitely things that I love to do in my free time and I don't expect myself to do it daily and every day. One day I might feel like drawing, the next day I might listen to a podcast in the shower, and then the next day I might want to take some notes on a Skillshare class. Definitely changes day by day and if I could do it like two to three times a week then I'm happy with that and I don't want to force myself to do it or else I feel like it will be another chore. So keeping that up at least two to three times a week is fine with me. Those are all my thoughts for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this glimpse into my week and my life. Definitely a different video than the usual studio vlogs I do. So if you guys liked it, make sure to comment and subscribe. Um, don't forget to check out the Skillshare link below and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.